Okay, so this is going to serve as just a very basic overview of Substance Painter in general. Um, so, uh, and I'm not going all the way back as far as to like to explain the interface or all that kind of stuff. It's just, this is going to be the, the core how-to. So, to get things started, you're create, clicking New. And what you want to do is find your low poly and then open it up. Defaults are going to be fine. Letting this load in. And remember too, if you bring it in and you see nice sharp edges on your low poly, then you've done it wrong. Um, we need to have a complete smooth shade on this because we're going to be baking the high poly. And a part of that process is to let it figure out where those edges are if we have it brought in with a flat shade then we're going to get those insanely ugly infinitely razor sharp edges everywhere so the rule of thumb if it looks like garbage when you first open it up then you've done it right so we've got our low in so we're just going into the texture set settings and doing a bake and all we need to do is pick our high definition. This is the most baseline uh, of examples here. It is a single low poly object and we're baking details from a single high poly object. So straight up defaults is gonna be fine. And so let's just let that bake. Okay, and it's aired out on the ID, and that's because we didn't bring in any color information or any of that sort of a thing. So it's you're, you're going to get that error if you've got no color information. Okay, so we've got the bake, and we can see here, since we've done it right, we've got these nice subtle beveled edges, but they're not just infinitely 1990s 3D sharp edges. So, with that, let's go over some very, very basic material creation here. So first off, let's get rid of that empty layer. Remember that you want to do predominantly everything with a fill. Because if we do it, say, with a empty layer, and then we come in here and we decide that we want to, we want it to be red. We want it to have a bit of height and be really shiny. And then I go in here and paint that on. Okay. So that's all well and good, uh, except we can't do anything with it. It is red. If we want to do a different color, then we actually have to change that color. And then we can kind of do this, but there's no way of going back and making any kind of adjustment to the original red. So if we look at this sometime later and go, you know what, that's, it's raised too much. I don't, the, the red's too vibrant or what have you. you. You have no recourse to change this. This is why we don't do it this way. If this was say what you wanted, the red piece, what you would do is a fill layer selecting the way you want it to be it's a little bit of height some slight roughness right click adding a black mask to the whole thing i'm just going to go to this side where nothing's happened yet and then we're painting that information on using our black mask and so the difference between this and this is the fact that we can kind of go back and later decide, you know what, I actually want this blue. I don't like it punched out. I actually want to have it dug in. And I want it to be really, really flat in hell. I want it to be a full-on metal look to it. So, yeah. So, stick to your fill layers. Uh, the only time that I actually suggest even using a regular 
add layer. Um, it's for something that we'll be looking at later at using the a single layer to do your normal details. But with that said, stick to fills. It's the way to go. So I'm just going to cover the very, very basics of painting here. So what I tend to do is first thing we do is drop in a base color, whatever color is going to be the majority of your object here. So I'm thinking of it's going to be like a paint style and it's going to have no height. I want it just a little bit more rough, non-metal, non-normal. And so we're not using height information. We're not using metal. We're not using normal. So you might as well turn those off just to keep things as streamlined as you can. So with the space coat on, then we would apply, say, our first layer. So let's create something really, really easy. So next to fill, I'm thinking of just some subtle dirt. So I'm going for a brown, quite dark. Uh, it's going to be infinitely flat. And there's no normal, there's no metal. And for now, I'm going to keep the height on, but I've got it at zero just to kind of show you something you can do, but it's sort of a heavy handed way of doing things. So we had the black mask to get rid of it. Right click on the black mask, adding a generator. And for this one here, we've actually got a pre-made dirt. So I'm actually going to select that. And right out of the box, it's looking pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to dial it back a little bit. So in here in your properties, the first one we've got is an overall dirt. Contrast, just how, how contrasty it is. And depending on what it is you want that dirt. Full contrast makes it look quite quite fake, uh, essentially, but this is a really, really good technique for kind of doing your your stylized type textures. Uh, but a more realistic is in towards just mid-level or more towards almost no contrast at all. And so that gives you a more subtle look. And also while in Substance Painter, um, it's very easy to go overboard. So you want to try to keep things subtle because if you go in and you just dirt the hell out of it, you get a very, so this is kind of neat visually, but once you get this into a 3D engine or your scene, it's just going to look super busy. It's not that the, the realism gets lost in the fact that it's so overboard. I'm just going to go back to subtle and call it. And then for just another simple layer, we're going to do some just quick and dirty chip painting. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to the dirt. The reason I left the height on, let's turn that off for a second. So what you can do is actually use the height information on your dirt, but keep in mind, it is going to rough up the entire surface, which may be what you're looking for or to conversely kind of give your dirt layer a height. So as the dirt accumulates, it's, it's raising the surface. So just know that it's there, but know that with especially a dirt, it's going to be a global thing. So it's going to be all over your model. And then the last, just to kind of round this out, we're going to just chip some paint off of this thing. Uh, so we're going to use the, the default gray that it gave us. I'm going to crank my metal up and give it a pretty good shine as well. Normal. And metal we're actually using, so we'll keep that. Add black mask, right click, add generator. 
And metal edges is also kind of a pre-built. And it comes in pretty heavy handed. So we're just going to dial that back a little bit. Something like that. There we go. That's looking good. Well, that is some very, very low level basic substance painter painting techniques.